Developing tonight, a man arrested accused of spitting on a Disney worker. And Orange County deputies say it was all over a face mask. This incident is just the latest example of run-ins at local theme parks since the start of the pandemic. Fox 35's Daniel Lama has more. Deputies say this man, 51-year-old Kelly McKinn, spit on a Disney employee when he was asked to put on a mask. The incident happened outside the Contemporary Resort last month. According to a sheriff's office report, when the security guard told him about the park's mask policy, he told her to leave him alone, took a step toward her, and spit on her, leaving saliva on her forehead. McKinn later charged with battery on a uniformed security officer. And this isn't the first time a Disney guest has left in handcuffs for not following the company's COVID safety rules. In August, this man was accused of hitting a security guard in the head because he was upset about the mask policy. And deputies say rapper Spectacular Blue Smith pretended to sneeze and yelled coronavirus. And when an employee called him out on it and told him to get out of line, he punched him. Larry Barton is a professor of crisis management and public safety at UCF. What's called diffusing the difficult person has become almost a requirement. People have become more agitated, not just about the mask, but about everything, being cooped up, not being allowed to you know, do certain things. But not all the theme parks say they've run into violent guests. Take Fun Spot. I'd say overall our people, are, our guests are complying. Uh, it's become more of a a uh, fact of life these days uh, with where we're going anywhere. A statement from a Disney spokesperson says millions of guests visit our theme parks each year and in rare instances when things of this nature occur, we hold them accountable. Daniel Lama, Fox 35 News.